RVMAX.US presents you 2000 Fleetwood Bounder Model 36S is in the Sierra. 69,000 miles, 127 hours on generator. And that is a diesel generator, not an LP generator. Some of these older 1999 or 2000 model motorhomes, they got LP generator. This one's got diesel generator. Check it out. Right here. About 127 hours. So it's an own end quiet diesel generator. That's a big plus. We sold this motorhome, I'd say about four or five years ago. Got it back on a trade. Windshields are free from any cracks. Or any major cracks or star cracks I see. Got a little bit of a chipping right here and it got a little body damage right here. So purpose of this video to show you good, bad and ugly. All the used motorhomes are gonna have some bad and ugly. But this one has a lots of good. It's a trade-in motorhome. Uh, good customers that trade it back in. Slide-out toppers seems to be in good shape. Tires are in good shape. They're Goodyear tires. Take a look at all my pictures. I don't know what the date codes are. I think they're 2012 or 2014. Made in the USA. Good solid tires. No dry rotted cracks. Got a double side fuel. So this side and the other side, you got two sides you can put a fuel. No DLAM. Or well, nothing that I could see major. Not a lot of daylight left, but I've got a nice LED light that shows you everything. Very clean underbelly storage. Got electric power sweep. Uh, that belongs to my detail guys, I guess. You may get it if you want to pay me 50 bucks extra. <laughs> All right, so you see this uh, compartment doors are staying up on their own. That's a good plus. So you don't need those uh, air struts. We got uh, two awnings here on a slide out. That's a window awnings. Again, slide out topper is in really good shape. You look at it, no tear, no tear, uh, tears at the corner. No DLAM. Take a look at it. Very nice. Got another window awning in the bedroom. It's got awning everywhere. Tires are in really good shape. They're good years. They're better than some of the Asian tires we get, Chinese tires. I like Goodyear. All right, over here we got a wash bay, 30 amp power cord, sewer discharge, all that is located in this compartment. Cummings turbo diesel, should be 275, but you can chip it up. Oh, now this goes with it, it's a little honey tank. A little extra. That's your leveling jack tanks. That's where the hydraulic fluid goes. It does have a four leveling jacks. Got a very slight dry rider checking in this gray part of the uh, decals. It is a 2000. Anyhow you cut it, it's about 18 years old, 17 years old. So it's a, rides on a Freightliner custom air chassis with the air brakes. Got a 5,000 pound towing capacity Reese Type 3 hitch with a 7 pin connector. Passes the side wall. Straight up, no DLAM. Got another window awning. Got a little bit of a body boo-boo right there. It's got an inverter in here. The LP tank fill. Batteries are in great condition, no worries there. She fires right up every time. Once again, Goodyear tires all the way around. They're not new. Hot water heater, furnace, 105 or 110 gallon huge capacity fresh water tank. Take a look at this compartment. They're deep. They go all the way. Oh, it's got a compartment door lights. I mean, basement lights. And they work, that's good. 
once again, tires are in really good shape. You want a new tire, they'll cost you money, but this tire is nothing wrong with it. Sometimes people like brand new tires, or you can have them. At least you can put a couple of them front. So another fuel fill on a passenger side. We've got a patio awning. Thirty-six ass power step. You know, before we go inside, let me show you a uh, roof we had just recently sealed. Great condition roof. So let's get up on top and show you the top. All right, let's get up top. All right, so we're on top of the motorhome now. Probably too much light here. Let me show you. See how? I could cut it down here. Check it out. The rear cap sealed. Really good condition roof. Skylight's been sealed up. All this Max Air vent are sealed. Got a brand new refrigerator vent because the old one was tethered up. We changed it. So all this thing is sealed. Take a look at this slide out topper I was talking about. No tears or rips. So look at the front seal too. It's been sealed completely. No water leaks. This is one of those preventive maintenance. You're supposed to do it every couple of years. Get up on top of your roof and seal everything. All right, so let's get back down and show you. You're going to love the inside. It's uh, hardwood floors, really good shape. 69,000 miles, 127 hours on generator, diesel generator. All right, let's get back down. I'm really excited to show you the inside. All right, we're down from the up on top. As you see, body don't have much flaws. I mean, I showed you a few in the front, maybe a few in the back, but overall, the decal's got a little bit of a weather checking, but overall in a good shape. I mean, a one weekend of a buffing job would probably make this motorhome shiny. Vinyl decal, you can't bring them back up, but you know, they're not bad. A little bit of wax would help. Windows are not foggy, as you can see. All right, let's step in this coach. You're gonna love it. Power step works. So we got a hardwood floors, even in the steps. Check it out. Laminated hardwood floors. Over here, it used to have a recliner. It's been taken off. A couple of bolts are there if you want to bolt it back up, or you can put a Amazon recliner or something like that. Previous owner had some wallpaper. We took it off, and there are a few holes. Um, I don't know what they did, put something. Uh, I think that's right, I remember. They had a fireplace with a 40 or 47 inch TV right here. So imagine this is yours. You can redesign this thing the way you want it. See, no water leaks, no water stains. It's in a solid crown roof. Check it out. Love these hardwood floors. This sofa was put in here by Lake Model Motorhome and the boot dinette was put back together because previous owners had two big sofas there. Because that's a detector. All right, let's get up on the driver's seat. You could also put a TV here too. Uh, it has a, all the power and TV cable hookups. I've oh, got a little safe here, how about that? Got a multi CD changer, backup monitor. We have some books and records right here. Owner's manuals. Let's see. Usually I'm doing this video with my daughter, but she's sick, so hey, I'm doing what I can. 
it's hard to do sometimes with a video holding a camera with a big anyways but that's where the books are i don't want to seem like they don't want to come out they're packed full of them they're fat all the books and records are right there owner's manuals all right look at the driver's seat in really really good shape no excessive wear or tears or rips so we got hardwood floors going all the way to the brake paddles and fuel pedal look at the dash is in really good shape walls are in really good shape right here uh, this is what you want to look at some of the motorhomes they'll be all perforated i mean this is a just a wallpaper old wallpaper stuff but all solid so there are lots of deals out there okay you may find a hoe we found a 2000 bounder much cheaper than yours okay yeah probably repo and junk you see right here all the walls in really really good shape no perforation i mean i walked in here i cannot uh, relay my uh smell because they don't have a scratch and sniff electronic digital odor thing yet i will use that when it comes but no odor no mildew odor or pat odor or any unwanted odor you want is a neutral 69,008 miles about 127 hours on generator the air condition is pretty cool we got a tilt and telescopic wheel got uh leveling jacks we got a four-speed allison automatic transmission power mirrors heated mirrors we got a lower or auto air suspension so when you put in lower the coach just kneels down we got exhaust brakes we'll do a test drive video maybe later on and add it into it or you call me if you got an iphone or android there are many ways to do video calls and we can help you doing the video calls so we can show you this motorhome live runs great it's coming 69,000 mile on a 5.9 liter isb engine it's not even break in yet these are like a half a million miles easy passenger seat looks good they both both of the seats swivel so we'll put new piece of carpet there on the on the kick panel right here i love this hardwood no carpet in this coach except on the under the slide under the sofa sofa turns into bed kitchen consists of a uh, Korean countertops some cabinet up on top and you see right here some of those coaches will have a water stain and all that from previous not taking care of it you saw it was sealed just recently people traded it in they took care of it that's your slide out control I mean it's just a look at this all I mean you know this is a now I've been dealing with this motorhome since 2003 so you know coming up on 14 15 years messing with the motorhomes I've seen some bounders or some other motorhomes or other brand that, that they will be all water leaked and water stained not necessarily just a, a run down but it, it just shows you this coach was taken care of we got a two-door refrigerator with an ice maker no I'm sorry I take it back I just said ice maker but there is no ice trays okay yeah this is an ice maker it's a manual ice maker you put water in it <laughs> got some pantries bottom pantry yep got a slide out drawer for canned goods and stuff some more cabinet up on top we got a three burner gas stove traditional oven so you got a microwave switch to turn it back and off and on microwave is on I think if you're turning a, a washer dryer on or hot water heater electric then you can turn a microwave off because you got a 30 amp circuit you can manage your power boot dinette falls down in the bed so previous owner kind of got rid of all the blinds and they put this uh, window curtains that one's missing but I think I saw somewhere so some of the stuff we're gonna let you finish it up or you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get those regular blinds if you'd like to some extra counter space here
More cabinet, it's pretty deep. It goes that way. More cabinet up on top. Take a look at it, no water stains on the roof. I like that, I love it. All right, center part of the coach has a sliding door. It kind of gives you privacy. Uh, here is go a little bit of wallpaper. We forgot to take it off there. You take it off or leave it there. So we're entering a bathroom area. We got a sink here. Medicine cabinet. Some big glass, I mean big mirror. Got a little backsplash, how about that? They probably added that because it did not come with a, it goes all the way into the corner too, up all the way up. How about that? Nice shower tub. Again, take a look at it, no water stains. That's amazing to find this older motorhome with a just well taken care of. This is where you can put water washer dryer. Um, it may have a hookup, so I'm not sure. Not sure, 100%. But this is where usually you can put a washer dryer. So if those folks want a washer dryer. That's where you'll install one. Private toilet, so the hardwood floor goes in here. Got a big magazine rack back there. And we left this uh, wallpaper. It's not a wallpaper, they painted this. You can repaint it. I think they had a picture there, took it off. Again, no water stain. Take a look at this. I mean, all this ceiling would have a water stain if it was not taking care of motor home. Got a mirror here too and a toilet area, how about that? So, we got some drawers here. Pretty deep drawers, three of them. Small little cubby here, lots of storage. But we have another privacy door that shuts. Oh, I'll, I can do it the other way too. It's uh, so you get the picture. So you get a privacy in the bedroom. Coming in the bedroom, the hardwood floors continues, goes everywhere on the both side of the bed. Some four drawers here, nightstand. Look at this. I mean, I've seen some motorhomes. This is like a Corian type. This is just a four mica. Good shape. I've seen it perforated, things broke, and that comes from not taking care of water leaking out. I mean, this is just a solid, solid rig, okay, for 2000 model. It is not a 2018 back part of the, uh, see, no water leaks. If there were any, it'll be all messy. The wall will be all wavy in here. This one needs a bulb. They got a nice little I don't know what kind it is, but it's some kind of a material sticking on the wall to make a bling bling headboard. How about that? Got a LCD TV back in the bedroom. Over here we have a big coat closet. Again, I'm detecting any kind of water leak if I see. Not don't or water leak stain, not just a water leak, but stain. That tells you if it was ever leaked in the past. And I can't guarantee you if it was never leaked, but it, does, it doesn't seem like it. I can't find any evidence of previous water leaks. All right, we have a inverter, flow charging, 13.0 volt. This is where your 120 breaker panel is, your electronic energy management for your master controller for your air conditioning. So let's see what's the water in here. 5,000 pound towing capacity. 106 gallon fresh water tank. That is whooping big. Some of these diesel push are comparable to this and this price range, they'll have 80 gallons. So you can take longer shower on this if you're dry camping. Again, no evidence of ignored coach. 
This is where you would catch it. Those are the people are veteran. They've had a lot of mud on them. They would know this is where you check for any previous water intrusion. Wow. This is just a good solid rig. Glad I sold it about four or five years ago. We delivered it to them in uh, Seneca, South Carolina. That's a Clemson, South Carolina near there. And a couple moved down to Key West and uh, sold it back. All right, under the bed, we got some uh, storage. And that's where you'll see the engine. Let's see if that is open here. Yep, that's a Cummins. Take a look at it. Man, it just sounds sweet. I love diesel. So this is not a perfect motorhome. The purpose of this video to show you good, bad, and ugly. There were few ugly, bad, but mostly good. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll check the coach out. I know air conditioner runs, generator runs, jacks works, batteries are good. We'll make sure no, no plumbing issue, water works. Uh, you know, a couple of blinds are missing, like here, and the one over there. We still have the privacy curtain. So may need a little, little touch, and uh, you could do that, but it's not a repo or handyman junk. It's a good, solid rig. Give me a call. I prefer text communication. My number is 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054. Or you can also call my toll-free number 888-352-2316. And my cell phone number one more time, I'm gonna repeat. So write it down, 864-404-0054. If you don't know how to text, no worries. Call me, leave me a voicemail, I'll call you back. 2000 Fleetwood Bounder Model 36 S's in Sierra. 69,000 miles, 127 hours, and good road ready condition. Thank you and have a blessed day. Look forward to doing business with you. I have a South Carolina title in my hand and I do take trades. Thanks for watching my video and have a great day.